Welcome again with this new video about how to control this board, which is this one. If you see, is is from wireless tag, and well, I'll show you how to to uh, programming with this thing. It's just the easy settings. And well, let's go to the first step. Now you need to have to download the Squareline Studio. And once when it opens, just go to create and then you're going to put Arduino, which is a framework that we're going to use to, to make the programming on the board. Just select this one. And now for this screen, we need to change the resolution at 480 by 320 in this case. Okay. And we need to change to the the color dipped, which is now it's 32 bit, but we need to change to 16 bit. And if you want to change the color of our our items, like well, all the widgets that we have to design here, we can put light in light mode or or dark mode. In this case, I'm going to put the light mode. And let's go to the create button. Okay, in this case, oh, and well, I forgot this. Let's put a name in the project, which is going to be test. And now let's go to create the project. And now it's asking me if I want to overwrite the project. Just go to overwrite. You will see a white screen here, and now I'm going to click on the Assets tab. I'm going to add this uh, this image, and each time you want to add uh, anything else, just you go to this bottom, which is Add File into into Assets. Now I'm just drag it up. I'm going to put a keyboard here. I'm gonna put a slider, no, a switch, a switch. I'm gonna put this switch here. And now a little slider. Right here, I guess. Okay. And now, once when we have the interface as, as we want, let's go to the export, and then create template project. And now it's asking to a folder to to export everything. Just go to your documents, and if you have the Arduino ID downloaded, just go to Arduino. Select the folder, and now the project is it's ready. Now it's exporting, and if you see it succeed. Now let's go to export again and export UI files just to make sure that everything has, has export and well now let's go to the next step okay now let's go back to the Arduino folder and we will see this is our new project which is called text um, test and well just open it and let's go to the library section you will find uh, these libraries which are included uh, automatically by LGBL and let's go to TFT ESPI let's go to the user setup and we're going to replace those two for the, the next files that I that I uh, going to let in my github you will see you have the user setup with the right setting for for this board and you need to replace all of these and well once when you have uh, the rest of these uh, ready you can well you can go to your Arduino IDE well before to go to the Arduino IDE you must download the, the files as I said and if you see I have the zip right here and I have the original uh, file that LGBL made and well let's go to find the file by file 
first we need to open this one and just go to inside of UI we're going to we're going to copy this one which is UI.ino which goes here now we have this one okay let's go to the LGBL configuration delete it the, and need to put the new LGBL config like this now let's go to the library which is TFT ESP and let's go to the okay we need to delete the user config and user setup select I delete those previously so I'm just going to drag those two at this right here and well now we have the project almost ready to to open with Arduino IDE now we're going to wait till this thing opens okay now it's opening okay and as you see you must go to file go to preferences and we're going to change this thing for this one for our new project which is test we select it and now we have this UI and we must change uh, all of this because sometimes Arduino remakes all this file again okay I'm just going to uh, I'm going to take this back which is the UI.ino okay now it's selected and ready to paste now we put the new configuration for this and in this case we must change a couple of parameters because originally the the way that the display resolution it's it's like vertical and we must change to uh, horizontal just we need to find first thing we're going to change the resolution by uh, from here for 80 320 again and let's go up um, oh right here if you see the offset we must change to 3 if you want to put it in horizontal as you see right here and we need to add a couple of uh, libraries in this case we need to add those two which is the uh, Lovian EFX and ESP32 time just let's go to the our libraries I'm going to copy and paste this and just remember that you need to find who made the library in this case by the way I'm going to leave those comments right here about the people who made each library now I'm going to install it now the same thing with the next library which is made by F. Viego now we have uh, the, that couple of libraries already installed and well let's go to the next parameter which is about select the board in this case I have as unknown but I'm going to put the ESP32 oh okay ESP32 rover kit all versions you can try with the rest of those but I'm not really recommend that because, uh, well, 
This one could be the same uh, kind of uh, SOC, but the rest of them I'm not really sure because I, I, don't, I don't have uh, other modules to test it. So just set the module. Now we have everything ready just to upload our files and just upload it. And well, it's it gonna take a long time to, to compile. I'm just going to uh, come back once when this thing is all ready. Well, it keeps updating and well, I need to take a little bit more of time, I guess. Okay, very, very close to upload. And I'm going to show you that the board is just connected like, like this, just to make sure that everything is uploading. Okay, now it's uploading. Just let's wait a little bit. And you will see the code, it's ready to work. And if you see the touch and everything else and the rest of the things that I put in the interface of LGBL, it's working. You can change the numbers here. You can put capital letters and well, whatever you you want to make, it's ready to make it work with this easy tutorial. And I hope you really like it. And if you have more questions about how it works or or what kind of uh, things you can put on your on your board? Just go to the go to the platform which sells this board, and you will see all the characteristics. In case if you want to buy a better board than this one, which which is um, the best option, because now I have this version, but uh, already exists another version which is the version plus of this one and it has more memory it supports micro SD and real-time clock too so you will have even better characteristics on the motherboard but I think it's a good start and if you need the, the files for the another board I, I can easy share it to you so I hope you really like it and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much.